Next weekend, we're shucking oysters to raise money for the South Carolina Shellfish Growers Association. Here with us this morning to tell us more, we have co-founders and CEO. We have Julie Weldon and Stacy Pierce. Good morning, ladies. Thank Good you so much morning. for being Thanks here. For Thank you for having us. So what is this event that's going on next weekend? Talk to me about it. Yeah, we're super excited. So our company, OME Gears, throwing this party at Tradesman Brewery. Um, to support, like you said, the South Carolina Shellfish Growers Association. We have Low Country um, Oyster Company coming to supply all of our oysters, and it's going to be a super fun event. So we'll have um, the Black Diamond Band. They're going to be playing from 2 to 5, and we'll have a bunch of vendors, local vendors, come and set up their their wares and sell yeah. their wares right there. So oh my gosh, so early good. holiday Sounds like shopping. so much fun, and everybody loves some oysters. What time is this happening? It's happening from 1 to 5 all right. at, at Tradesmen. Um, and for those who don't like it, it's a free event. Now, oysters you have to pay for. Um, mm -hmm. It's $30 in advance, $35 at the door. That gets you all the oysters you can eat, plus a free beer. Ooh. Um, and then, <laughs> But for those who don't like oysters, we have that covered too. We have Her Provisions food truck going to be there. Okay. And talk to me about why you decided to kind of support this cause. What is, what is the reasoning? Yeah, so our dear friend Trey um, is the founder of a Low Country Oyster Company. And I think the... The oyster farmers in the area and beyond are, are kind of under attack, honestly. Mm -hmm. And what they're doing is so fascinating. We were able to go out to his farm and see what he's doing, and it's absolutely fascinating. I don't know if you know, but the waters in the Ace Basin are some of the purest waters up and down the East Coast I didn't know that. because yeah. of the oysters who wow. filter. One oyster filters 50 gallons of water a day. Wow. So the water where he is is the purest all along the coast. And so he's doing an incredible job. And it, so many of us here in the low country love oysters, yeah. and yet we fight the oyster farmers, so it yeah. doesn't make sense. So this, this association is one that we get behind and really love what they're doing. And Stacey, I mean, the two of you are some boss ladies. Talk to me about uh, OME <laughs> Gear. That's, yeah. This so is amazing. OME Gear is an outdoor product company, and we're taking our um, flagship product, the Wanderer, um, to market. It's a five-in-one. So it's a cart that you load up to up to 250 pounds of gear. And whenever nice. you get to where you're going, you can have a low to the ground beach type chair, a higher off the ground camping chair, a fully reclining lounge chair, and then a camping cot. Wow. We've also made, it's almost a six in one, we have straps being made that you can carry your kayaks and your um, surfboards and your paddle boards. So no more like hauling them over your back, you can actually put them on the chair. That's amazing. What's the website if I wanted yes. to learn more? Yeah, omegear.com. So O, ocean plus mountains equals earth, gear.com. Thank you, ladies, yeah. so much for being here this morning, for sharing this with us. We will have all that information for you up on our website at countonto.com. Ariel?